how reliable is the Binax test to detect coronavirus? You can do this test if you only 15 minutes in your home. And according to COVID-19 travel advisor issued by Massachusetts government, on March 22, in 2021, a negative result from an antigen test other than the Binax now must be confirmed by a negative result from a PCR test. That means the PCR test is the gold standard. However, if you need a 15 minutes antigen test, the only option available is the Binax now. The CDC study says that the Binax test may miss two-thirds of asymptomatic cases. By the way, the CDC research was published after the federal government bought and received 150 million by next test. If you read the summary of the CDC paper, the sensitivity of the Binax now test compared to PCR test was lower when used to test specimens from asymptomatic than from symptomatic persons. This 35.8% is the two-thirds of missing cases of the symptomatic cases written in the article. I guess that the regular people who read the news, they are more likely to conclude that the test is not great. But if you read the paper, you might conclude that the test is pretty fine. The paper asks, what are the implications for public health practice? The research from CDC points to positive aspects of the test high specificity, and the how fast is the test, 15 minutes. This table here is the clinical trial data present in the manual of the Binax test. This column here is the Binax test, that it can be positive or negative. And here we have the comparator method, that is the real-time PCR test. See that the positive agreement is 99 divided by 117. That this number here, the positive positive over the total positive. This positive agreement of 84.6% we call sensitivity or the true positive rate. And the negative agreement is even great, it's 98.5%. That this number here, 338 divided by 343. We call negative agreement as specificity or the true negative rate. Both numbers here is pretty decent. It's a measure of agreement between both tests, Binax and the PCR. We have some disagreement here. For example, this 18, that the Binax is a negative, but the PCR indicates positive. We call this 18 the false negative. And you see that you have only five false positive or type one error. You might also consider that the comparator method, the PCR test is not perfect either. That means some of this mismatch, maybe the Binax might be right, but it is unlikely. Among 406 tests, we have only 23 mismatch. And this is only 5%. If you needed to develop statistical vocabulary to read the research papers or even news, I recommend you go to Wikipedia and check the concepts. You don't need to memorize the statistical terminology. Just go to Wikipedia and check this table. You can even see this table with some numerical examples.